Welcome to the American Dream TV, the show that is built on lifestyle, culture, and real estate. In this episode, we're headed to Detroit, Michigan, where we're featuring Moving the Mitten. Let's get this episode started right now. The search is over, baby. I'm right here, and I got it. The American Dream, the only show that combats negative media, not owned by a network, commercial free, unscripted. I got it. These are stories for you and by you. Everybody, Teresa Antonelli, broker of Moving the Mitten Real Estate Group. Today we're coming to you from Belleville, Michigan, happens to be my hometown. Although we're located about 20 miles west of downtown Detroit, the best part of being in Belleville is that you're in a great central location. So we can land in downtown Detroit in a matter of 20 minutes. We can hit a Tigers game, Red Wings game, Lions game, hit the casinos. We can actually be over in Canada in less than a half an hour. But on the flip side, if we head a little bit west, we land in a great town called Ann Arbor, Michigan. If you know anything about college sports, you've heard of Ann Arbor, Michigan. One thing that a lot of people ask, especially sellers, when they're interviewing an agent like myself or one of my many agents on my team, is what makes moving the mitten different? I'll tell you, not all agents are created equally. One thing that sets our company apart from many others is we are just exceptional. We take everything to the 10th degree from marketing, videography, drone images, professional photography. And when American Dream reached out and wanted this partnership, I thought, gosh, part of our marketing plan, part of our value add to our sellers on a regular day is to put all the marketing that we possibly can into their home and into their listing to get them top dollar. So why not partner with this national TV show to get even more exposure for some of our top properties, pushing it out across the entire country. When sellers ask us what makes us different, I always tell them it's in the marketing. If you haven't already checked us out, Moving the Mitten Real Estate Group, we're actually one of the real estate brokerages in the country that has the most followers. Over the past several years, we've been able to gain over 30,000 Facebook followers. And on any given one of our listing ads that we release whenever we get a great listing, we have tens of thousands of people interacting with our listing. It's amazing the power of social media. We also are a premier agent with Zillow, and that's a very, very high status in the Zillow community. We not only utilize social media and online presence, but we go old school. We actually send out postcards. On an average year, we send out about 250,000 postcards advertising our listings. It's like fishing, right? The buyers are the fish. We need to cast the biggest net to bring the most buyers in. That gets our sellers top dollar. So I'm excited today, not only to be in my hometown of Belleville, but I'm going to showcase one of the most beautiful properties here in our community. Today we're going to be visiting a 7,000 square foot home located on almost 200 feet of shoreline of Belleville Lake. Let me tell you a little bit about Belleville Lake. It's actually pretty cool. Our lake actually spreads about eight miles long from east to west. On any given weekend, you'll find hundreds of boaters. We are a public lake. So the fun thing about our town also is that we are a downtown on a lake which is pretty rare to find in Michigan, let alone any other community throughout the country. Backing to the 1930s, Henry Ford and Thomas Edison actually used to have cottages on our lake. Now those cottages have been transformed into beautiful homes. However, to today's date, there are still some underground tunnels that run from house to house. I've been in a few of those actually. So a little bit about me. I actually got my teaching degree back in 2003 from Eastern Michigan University. 
Unfortunately, back in 2003, there were not many teaching jobs available. So I took my second, my plan B, and I landed in the restaurant industry. So I was in hospitality for about 10 years, and hospitality is in my heart. Unfortunately, the day I turned 30, my body just didn't like me being in the restaurant industry anymore, and I needed to figure out what was next for me. I love the service aspect of it. I love the hospitality aspect of it, but I also love the sales aspect of it. So real estate it was. In 2011, I got my real estate license, state of Michigan real estate license. I had a wonderful, wonderful mentor named Dan Callen, who I attribute all of my success to. Over the course of the next few years, I just was a sponge. I absorbed everything that I could from him. And then in 2014, I made the decision to come back to my hometown where everybody knew my name and opened my own brokerage. And I called it Moving the Mitten. For those of you watching not in our state, you probably don't know what the word mitten stands for. Well, if you look at a world map and zoom into our country map and then zoom into our state, you're gonna see that the state of Michigan is shaped like a mitten. I'll tell you, when I opened my doors in 2014, it was just me. Little did I know, several years later, I would have an amazing team backing me. I have about 40 agents that work side by side with me on a daily basis, and it's the only way I would be able to do what we do right now. We service over 500 families on an annual basis. And I have to tell you a little bit of my teaching background paired with the years that I had in the service industry on the hospitality side of things, blends together to give our clients a perfect experience. Crafted Gift Shop has been a pillar in our community over the past several years. The owner, Carmen, offers the opportunity for local artisans to bring in their goods and sell them to people like me. The best part is over the past year, herself and her brother, Rodney, partnered together to open up a modern beanery. So Crafted Beanery is our stop almost every day of the week to grab our coffee to keep us fueled. tomorrow. We're at the Lake Point Pass property, this one-of-a-kind custom waterfront home. I cannot wait to show you around. This area is an entertainer's dream space. I've actually personally attended a concert, a cookie exchange of over a hundred women, baby showers, wedding showers. Shoot, I shot a music video in this space. It's a completely separate wing of the home with a fully equipped kitchen, a bar with several stools, two dining room areas, living room space, pool table, two additional guest rooms, and a full bathroom. 
This truly is a one of a kind part of this home. Attaching the main house to this amazing entertainment space behind me is this catwalk of a room. It's got these beautiful Chicago bricks below me, shiplap on the walls, skylights, and these amazing vintage barn doors that came from a blacksmith shop. The best part about this room is standing anywhere in this space. You can see the sunrise on the east and the sunset on the west. car enthusiasts and gearheads. This is the mechanic's dream garage for you. We've got drywalled ceilings and walls, epoxy flooring that has radiant heat. As you can see behind me, there's a lift as well as 220. This 12 car attached garage, temperature controlled. We're not gonna be able to find you in the main house because you're gonna be down here working on all your toys. favorite features of this property is the gourmet chef's kitchen. 42 inch cherry cabinetry, beautiful granite countertops throughout. We actually have a six burner cooktop with a griddle, double ovens and a warming drawer. They say the kitchen is the heart of the home and this one definitely proves to be that. Next, our very own Craig Sewing got to sit down with Therese of Moving the Mitten. Let's check out what they had to say. So The American Dream is a show about lifestyles, culture, neighborhoods, but also real estate. We find the best real estate teams all across the country in individual cities to not just show you around the marketplace, but also what's happening real estate insight and i'm bringing you number one out of detroit we're so excited to have her on the show therese antonelli good to have you out of the detroit marketplace how are you wonderful thanks for having me so you're a lot of fun and this show is <laughs> a lot already i mean i'm already seeing what the teams are out there shooting the storyline you're bringing such life to detroit and the real estate market and you got a whole different spin to it which our audience is going to be able to see and get to know and love you just for how creative you are. And we'll talk a little bit about that today. But I want to go a little bit deeper real quick on your backstory. This real estate game is a real hobby of yours. You're one of the top producers nationally, certainly in Detroit. When did you get into it? Where did your passion come from? Well, um, about 10 years ago, and I've waited for many years to be able to say that. I've been in the industry for 10 years now. About 10 years ago, I was transitioning out of the hospitality business. I got into restaurants and hotels and fine dining back 20 years ago and did that really hard for about 10 years. And I love the hospitality of it. I love the service aspect of it. But I got older and my body physically couldn't shake bar shakers every single night for hours <laughs> on end. So I needed to find a plan B and I already had a degree hanging on the wall that I'd never used before. And I just, I loved, like I said, the service and the hospitality end of things. So I was great at sales. I had the personality. I had the drive. I had the hustle and real estate at once. I got well, my license well. in 2011, hung my license on a wall about an hour north of where I call home now and had an amazing broker who brought me under his wing and truthfully taught me everything I know. Well, I know you have that entrepreneurial spirit about you as well, and you're a terrific marketer, which is so important when it comes to real estate. Yeah, sure. It's good for your brand and to be known and Everybody seems to know you in the real estate market there, and, and, and you've helped thousands of homeowners. But being a great marketer actually is great when you're taking properties to market. And I want to talk about this, this video, this, this music <laughs> video that you've done. Let's talk about some marketing, because I think that's really one of the fun parts of uh, this real estate business. And it's an important part when we're talking about selling people's home for top dollar. 
Tell us You're about. You're absolutely correct. Yeah, tell us about the the passion and the, and the thought. Where where did it ever come to mind that you would do a music video around a home that ended up going viral, mind you? Yes. So um, you are right. Number number one, our value add to any of our sellers when we're giving them their listing presentation, running a market analysis on their home is, I always just say, hey, there's a lot of agents out there. They practice three Ps. Put a sign in the front yard, put it in the MLS and pray. The house you see right now, it's listed somewhere out there. You may just miss it. Our agents in this insane market, truly that's all you need to do. Hmm. But to get top, top, top dollar and to get the most qualified buyer out there, to give it a smooth experience for your seller and get them the most possible money out of their home. You got to throw some money in marketing. And uh, that is what we do. I always say we're not just a real estate company. We're a marketing firm. 30,000 plus Facebook followers, our listings, the comments and the exposure and the everything is insane. The analytics that we get on the, the marketing end of things. So it was by no surprise when one of my wonderful agents, I'm going to give her kudos, Jill Penna, popped an email to me and it had the lyrics, the most creative, kitschy, whimsical lyrics to an Ariana Grande song, The Seven Rings. And it was all about real estate. I mean, I don't even know where these creative juices came from, but she sent me this email and I'm reading the lyrics and she even says, hey, sing this out loud to the Ariana Grande Seven Rings song. And I'm thinking like, well, I got to YouTube this Seven Rings song because I don't even have it on the top of my head. <laughs> you pick the target, we'll plan the right offer. Right in that sweet spot that don't break your coffers. Part of the we'll lyrics is big ass lake villas. And we just happen to film at one of the most amazing homes on Belleville Lake here in Metro Detroit. And I now have listed it for sale. <laughs> that's, that, that's, look, I've seen the video. It, it's actually very well produced. You guys actually did a great job with it. And I wanna always make sure that we make the connection to the consumer on why this is important. Especially, I think, I think in, in all real estate, the marketing of the home is certainly important, but in the, in the higher end price points, we live, just as you're looking in this interview, I have a laptop here and a, and a phone here. We live on this stuff and to get in front of more potential buyers, a lot of these buyers, especially in the environment we're in now, they're not coming from necessarily Detroit. These are people coming from other areas, even international buyers. Your ability to be seen and known on a, on a global scale is actually really important and what it can do to move the needle on getting bigger offers, uh, and certainly uh, more to choose from. I mean, it's it's really priceless. That creativity will translate to the better marketing of your property. It's a, it's a, it's a funny world. Well, you're one of the best I've seen. I mean, we've been doing this thing all across the country. So excited to launch in Detroit with you. And as far as marketing goes, I mean, you're up there with the best of them. And I've had a front row seat to the best of them. So Detroit's got a, a real gem in you as far as that marketing goes. Let me switch gears real quick. So we talked a little bit about the marketing Tell me about the market, right? So how is the Detroit market? Obviously, 2020 was an insane year. What did you see last year? What do you expect to see in 2021? Well, Michigan was one of the four states in the entire country in 2020 that was physically shut down in terms of real estate for Ooh. about a month and a half. Our governor was probably one of the stricter governors of the country, and that's okay. But the real estate market from March 19th through May 9th, we were not allowed to list homes. We were wow. not allowed to show homes. There was physically no real estate activity. Now, granted, mortgage and title was still allowed to operate under the Federal Cybersecurity Act. But man, when we got back into gear in May, we just hustled. And we did. We had our best year yet in 2020. Um, Amazing. In 2021, of course, this isn't just Michigan-based. This is national. Um, the interest rates are just insane yeah. right now. So we're seeing just this huge influx of buyers in our market. And the unfortunate part is, and this is countrywide, there's just not enough inventory for those buyers. So whether we're releasing a you know, half-million-dollar home in a good neighborhood, great school district, we're seeing 15 offers on Incredible. that property, and it is not abnormal to sell that home for 15 to 25,000 over list price. And that's just in the half million dollar market. 
you know, normally when we get the higher end luxury listings, a million, million plus, we explained to the sellers that it might not sell in the first weekend on market. But we had a beautiful listing just last week in a township called Milford, which is a really popular area in the mm -hmm. suburbs of Metro Detroit. And we listed it for 975. It was gone within 18 hours at full price. Well, thank you for the insight on the real estate market. I want to encourage our audience. This is going to grow over time. More and more people are going to learn about you and what your team is doing out there. You got to follow this. I'm pointing the wrong way. There you are. I got the Zoom world we're in these days, right? Yes. Uh, you've got to follow this gal on Facebook. You've got to learn her story. If you are buying or selling real estate, look, uh, the numbers are proven, but also, Teresa, you're a whole lot of fun. I mean, come on, it's an emotional process. I like to think Some, so. All these deals, even the clean ones, have thorns on them. You might as well be involved with somebody who's going to make the process fun, going to do a great job. And uh, you're the reason that we picked for Detroit. I know that you're the best in the market, and uh, you really do help families out there. So thank you so much for coming on you're The American so Dream. You're so welcome. And we are so honored that we were the chosen ones in Metro Detroit. Again, we just totally align. I. You know, I believe in video. I believe in marketing. Again, I just think anything that you can do to get that listing at home more exposure at a national level, at an international level, you're going to get the buyers. You're going to make the seller happy. So. Well, cool thing is we're going to do it some more on this TV show, not on just this episode, but future episodes. And we're going to continue to learn about what makes Detroit and other areas in Michigan as well. The real estate, the lifestyle, the culture, the neighborhoods. Why are people moving there? What are the nooks and crannies? And we're yes. going to do it through your lens. So we are so excited for that. Thanks for sitting down with us. Let's Absolutely. get back to more of this fun show with you. Thank you. If you're looking for properties in the greater Detroit area, then you're in luck. We have the latest listings from the Moving the Mitten team. Let's check them out. Thirteen hundred Grace Lane in Milford Township is a seven bedroom, five bath custom log cabin nestled on over five acres, just minutes from downtown Milford. This property features over 7,000 square feet of finished living space with potential for in-laws quarters, as well as a pond, in-ground pool, and complete privacy. Currently listed at $975,000, this property is truly a dream. Stonebridge Way, located in Canton Township with award-winning Plymouth Canton Community Schools, is a 3,000 plus square foot Cape Cod featuring four bedrooms with two full baths and three powder rooms. This completely updated home features a finished basement, golf course frontage, and a three car side entry attached garage currently listed at $500,000. 8900 East Jefferson Avenue, Unit 1110 in Detroit, Michigan, is a one bed, one bath ranch unit in a high rise building overlooking the Detroit River. This 625 square foot unit is easily considered the hidden gem in Detroit. It's move-in ready with fresh paint and newer carpet, and it has the most stunning views of the horizon. For $85,000, this riverfront loft could be yours. Hey. 3128 River Meadow Circle in Canton Township is a three bedroom, two and a half bath colonial home featuring a completely renovated main floor including an updated kitchen with quartz countertops, luxury vinyl flooring, and a stainless steel appliance package. The HVAC, as well as the roof, has been updated in the last few years, and this home boasts a finished basement, as well as a beautiful Trex deck overlooking the community area. Currently listed at 325,000. 
17008 Waken Den in Redford Township is a three bedroom, one and a half bath bungalow. With over 1,500 square feet of living space, this home features a partially finished basement, updated kitchen and baths, newer flooring throughout, and a two car attached garage. Listed at 175,000, this home will not last long. Schedule your showing today. South Creek Drive in Milford Township is a little oasis at the end of a cul-de-sac. This 2,500 square foot, four bedroom, two and a half bath Cape Cod features a two and a half car side entry garage and is nestled on a half acre overlooking the creek. The finished walkout basement boasts an additional 1,400 square feet of living space. Schedule your showing today. This property is listed at 375,000. We hope you enjoyed this latest episode of the American Dream TV. As always, make sure to follow us on social media and engage in the conversation. I'm your host, Amy Scruggs, and in the meantime, cheers to your American Dream. Welcome to the American Dream. It's a great time for leaders to lead and innovators to innovate. We partner with top realtors all across the country to create incredible, positive, moving content, real stories about real neighborhoods. But underneath it all, I'm the CEO of Ignite Media. I'm an entrepreneur myself. I jumped off the cliff. You only live once. Hey, God, say hi to Craig, will you? Oh, yeah. This is your home. This is a place that you're going to raise your family, build memories. My, my parents still live in the house I was raised in. We are inspiring and uplifting. I really admire that about what you guys are doing with the with American Dream. Cheers to your American Dream. We'll catch you next time. American Dream TV is a chance for America to hear from small business owners and big dreamers, local leaders and trendsetters, tastemakers and upshakers, the men and women, young and old, in every ethnicity and different perspective of this country we share. We are the American Dream TV, and together we are changing the world of television. Do you know my name? Notorious, infamous, warning man, dangerous.